take a ride along the Intracoastal Waterway, and chances are you'll run into a boat or two breaking the rules. So Saturday, we tagged along with State DNR First Sergeant Nate Hudson while he enforced them, all in an effort to keep boaters safe. How y'all guys doing? Good, how are you? Doing well. What we're going to do is do a boat inspection of your safety equipment. Okay. On a typical safety check, Hudson will make sure boaters have four items. Well, first, I need to see all the life jackets on board for uh, everybody. He'll also check for boat registration, a fire extinguisher, and a horn, bell, or whistle. These guys were in the clear. Y'all be safe on the water today, okay? Thank you. In 2012, there were more than 4,500 boating accidents nationwide, and Hudson says there are two big causes for them. One being alcohol. Uh, boating under the influence is a problem in our area, and uh, what we, we're out here trying to, to make sure that everybody's being safe and make sure everybody's not drinking and driving the boat. The other, boater and experience. Folks will get on boats and, like I say, think they can drive, and, um, and just because they've driven a car, and they will get involved in a, an accident. It's why DNR officers like Hudson will work not only during Boat Safety Week, but all year long running checks. Now on a typical day during the summer, DNR officers are out here on the Intracoastal Waterway from the early morning to the late hours of the evening, making sure boaters are safe. I think it's really important for us to realize that we've got enough of the life vests on the boat and have the fire extinguisher. You know, we always try to make sure that the kids, we know that where the kids are going to have their life vests and stuff like that. So I think it's, it, yeah, I think we definitely going to remember this experience. In Horry County, Mark Liverman, WPD News Channel 15.